I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now, lot of viewers watched this challenging case 183, in which, as you can see, I have shown a child of one and a half years age with right eye closed, both upper and lower eyelids are swollen, edematism, and the swelling has not only involved the orbit but also the right side of the face up to mandible. Patient was febrile as well. Now I tried to open the eyelids to examine the globe, but lids were tender to touch and tightly closed. So I stopped. Now the case is viewed by more than 500 uh, viewers uh, up till now but no one commented on it though in my opinion it's a straightforward case now patient had developed this condition for the last one week history and examination tells us that we have two top differentials if you see such picture preceptal cellulitis and orbital cellulitis so first the viewers should know what is cellulitis well cellulitis is the inflammation and infection of the skin most commonly due to pathogenic bacteria affected skin is red warm swollen and tender to touch now if cellulitis occurs uh, in the skin of the eyelids it is called preceptal cellulitis if it is confined to the eyelids and is stopped by orbital septum now what is orbital septum orbital septum is a fibrous tissue that divides the orbital contents into two cavities anterior to the septum preceptal and posterior to the septum post septal parts Infection anterior to the septum is called preceptal cellulitis, whereas infection posterior to the septum is called orbital cellulitis. Now, the signs and symptoms in preceptal cellulitis will be confined to the eyelids. There will be eyelid swelling, edema, redness, erythema, pain, tenderness, warmth, and fever. Vision will be normal, there will be quite conjunctiva, normal extraocular movements, normal pupil reaction and 6 by 6 vision. Infection that crosses the orbital septum, it becomes orbital cellulitis. Now how to differentiate it from preceptal? Well, you will get all the positive signs of preceptal cellulitis like eyelid redness, swelling, along with conjunctival erythema, conjunctival swelling, chemosis, pain on the extraocular movements, restricted extraocular movements, decreased vision, sluggish pupil reaction, bulging of the eyeball, proptosis, droping of the eyelid, ptosis. So all these will confirm along with fever will confirm that this is patient of orbital cellulitis. If uncontrolled, the spread of infection will be first preceptal, then or orbital cellulitis, then subperiosteal abscess, then orbital abscess, and then finally cavernous sinus thrombosis. Now, mostly caused by bacterial infection spread from the ethmoid or frontal sinuses. There is a thin lamina papricia, so ethmoid has got maximum chances to invade into the orbit and cause orbital cellulitis then trauma skin infection dacryocystitis dental infection intraorbital endophthalmitis dacryoadenitis and rarely bacteremia from the blood orbital cellulitis can occur most commonly staphylococcus streptococcus cause orbital cellulitis but gram negative rods and aerobic bacteria and very rarely fungus can also cause it. 
now let's come to our case you can see this one and a half years old child uh, the lids are tightly closed he is febrile high grade fever now as we are unable to see to open the eyelids uh, to see the orbital signs conjunctival chemosis uh, extraocular movement restriction so how to confirm well in such patients uh, we can perform ct scan uh, to distinguish preceptal from uh, orbital cellulitis cbc will give raised wbcs and management uh, is urgent uh, hospital admission uh, initiation of broad spectrum antibiotics uh, to give gram positive cover gram negative cover and aerobic cover uh, because we don't know the pathogenic uh, organism and uh, if we leave uh, the rare ones uh, and it is the rare one uh, it can cause uh, side threatening as well as life threatening complications and we have to follow the patient four hourly or six hourly by checking the vision relative afferent pupil defect color saturation swelling tenderness like in our case first when we start the antibiotic iv therapy the swelling should decrease the patient should be able to open the eye the tenderness should be increased the fever should settle down motility should improve so these signs will tell us that patient is responding to the treatment so that was an important case of orbital cellulitis uh, and orbital septum is uh, not fully developed so in children uh, preceptal uh, chances uh, to convert into orbital cellulitis are also more so that was a good discussion on orbital cellulitis thank you very much